Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Guess what? It's swatches and stuff. This is March 2016. So for once, I don't have a lot of stuff to show you and swatch for you today. Um, I don't know why, I guess because maybe I went on a hiatus on purchasing stuff. And it does help that with my Ipsy Glam Bag this month, I read him a ton of free stuff. So it really helped me curb on the checking out new stuff at the drugstore and the department store. Plus we kind of broke. So I always say that, right? Don't I? Yeah, well, because it kind of like seems to be uh, ongoing. You ever live paycheck to paycheck? you let me know down below because that's our case right now paycheck to paycheck so let's start the first thing I want to talk about is this Smashbox primer water and I received this as a freebie that I redeemed on um, my Ipsy Glam bag and this is basically a water that you spray on after you put on all of your uh, skincare products to prep your skin for your foundation um, you can also use it as a setting spray if you want to. This smells actually pretty good. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a apple, very subtle type of scent. I'm not sure what the ingredients are. I'm going to use my specs and try to read the ingredients for you. This is uh, silicone free, alcohol free and oil free. So I'm going to put it on my face now and we're gonna see what it looks like so I tried it a couple of times um me I, I don't see the point I really don't so let's put it on and you tell me if I have a dewy glow after I spray it on my face okay um yeah it's water that's really all it is it's water with fragrance give me a break I it's refreshing um i don't think this does anything other than kind of getting the loosened powder back in place um i don't like the way it feels on my lips and if you buy the avion bottles that are like the bruminizer whatever they call it it comes you, you'll find it at your um drugstores all right if they sell avion um, at CVS or your Walgreens you'll find the little bottles like this they are great for travel you spray them on it's mineral water it does the same thing don't fall for the gimmicks next item is this glow biotics by my body yeah I got that again as something that I redeemed um, from my Ipsy Glam bag probiotic instant resurfacing pads I, I gotta go like this otherwise I need to wear my glasses okay uh, these are yeah probiotic instant resurfacing pads so this is part of a step two of a whole bunch of stuff they want you to do they come in those little patches right and I'm going to open one I have it came with 10 of them actually which is pretty good deal as a freebie and a sample uh, very generous I think so I'm gonna open one and show you what they look like even though I'm not gonna use them that's what they look like it smells very strongly of uh, chemicals so I'm not crazy about that 5% ammonium lactate potassium with some bunch of words that I can't read and balancing complex so technically you put that on and it's supposed to resurface your skin and it tightens your pores and it preps your skin for your treatment you do that two three times a week so the problem that i had with that number one this thing here is so ridiculously small you need at least two of them one on each hand to be able to go through your whole face all right and then they start once you apply them they start rolling and you have to constantly go back and reopen them this is like really annoying um the first time i used it i really liked the results it kind of puffed my skin it sounds horrible as an effect but it sort of put my skin in a way where all my pores started to shrink and it, it was kind of a uh, um lifting effect so i really really like that i used it a second time and I used it a third time and now I'm gonna stop using them and I'm gonna tell you why because they made my skin peel 
all around my nose, here and here and here. And you know guys, I've had issues with my skin. I switch entirely to chemical free, organic, botanical products. If you haven't watched my daily skincare routine, check the channel um, right here and then you'll see that I did a daytime and a nighttime routine where I show you all of the products I'm using that have really, really made an improvement in my skin. And this kind of like set me back a couple of weeks, seriously. Um, if you are not prone to skin allergies or sensitivities you can use those I really like the result the first time around I'm pretty sure if you don't have allergies you're gonna continue to see those results but me it just started peeling so I had to do a whole bunch of scrubs and things and no don't like it so yeah you see sometimes in my swatches and stuff I talk about products that are really kind of thumbs down I'm not always praising brands um, so yeah Globiotics now nah, not for me Next is another one that I got as a redeem. This is Clarice C Sea Salt Solution. Um, it comes a big sample actually, and it's this sea salt, right? That has lavender in it, which is really nice. Instant glow powder exfoliant. So what you do is that you, t you scoop out some and you add it to your cleanser and you just basically scrub your face with it. It's a scrub, all right? Um, this was by far the worst experience of the year. You see, I told you I wasn't always praising stuff. I had salt in my mouth. I couldn't get rid of it. Now, at nighttime, when you want to try to prep your skin for the night by removing all the dead skin cells and the dullness before you put on all your products, the last thing you want to taste after you brushed your teeth is salt okay so now if i have to use this product and make sure i close my mouth when i'm using it it's not working out for me this is garbage bye next i talked about that already but i want to talk about it again cheryl sent me this um this is young living lavender hand and body lotion so um i think this is one of those deals where you have independent sellers that sell essential oils that's coming from Dr. Young, uh, big website, lots of stuff to uh, check out. And she swears by the products. And uh, there's a couple of people actually that follow me and I follow on Facebook who use those. And I have to tell you that this is one of the best body lotions I've tried in a long time. This is super thick. Oh, it smells wonderful. And it's true to lavender. Like it's not like a fake lavender scent. It's really is essential oil. Uh, so I'm going to scoop some here so you can see. There you go. So you see that? It's super thick. I apply it on in the morning after a shower so I have wet skin. And you see how it spreads and, and you really have to apply this thing, okay? It doesn't absorb right away, but it penetrates eventually and leaves your skin so wonderfully scented not to mention beautifully moisturized it's very nice um cheryl thank you for sending me this it's really really cool and i'm telling you right now i know i told you i was going to buy the bergamot oil i will but you know paycheck to paycheck all right okay i mentioned that uh, so i know i want to buy the bergamot oil to add to my tea because i'm tired of teas that claim to be bergamot but really don't have enough of it and i want to add some to my tea but this is really really good so let me try to read the back of it and maybe you can check it out um, online uh, bring life back to your skin with this lightweight moisturizer infused with skin loving lavender essential oil added ingredients such as wolfberry wolfberry seed oil and murmuru seed butter this is an unbelievable lotion it's formulated by dr gary young 100 percent pure therapeutic grade essential oil so i'm not trying to sell anything i am not affiliated with young living but i have to be honest this is like the first time i try one of their products and i'm really impressed really love the scent lavender is not for everybody um i think that for some folks it kind of turns sour on their skin depending on the ph but for me it works beautifully really like this and i've got about that much left so cheryl i'm gonna be talking to you pretty soon the next item is this thing here that i picked up um because i wanted a lighter foundation um, my foundation is usually the um, Lancome and I've talked about it before but as the spring and summer comes in it's starting to be a little bit too opaque for me so I wanted something that was skin matching but very very light so I picked up this Old May Smart Shade and this is the anti-aging uh, line they have three different ones 
This one is this SPF and I know that some folks have made comments that I do not use an SPF and I really don't, okay? There's various reasons why. Uh, one, I avoid the sun like the plague. When I go outside, I got a hat with a brim this big that you'd think I'm wearing a sombrero to avoid the sun because I have freckles and I really do not tan. Like seriously, I get red and then I peel and I'm white again, okay? I do not tan. And then the other thing I don't like about uh, sunscreen is I just don't like this texture. I don't know what it is, if it's the uh, aluminum, whatever they use to, that makes it uh, sunscreen. I just don't like the way it feels. It's, it's not gliding on my skin, but I tried this. Alme Smart Shade, and this one is in light medium, number 200. I'm wearing it today. You gotta let me know. What do you think? Does it make a difference? I'm gonna put some here. So this is what it looks like, okay? When you put it on, it's white. And then as you apply it, it starts turning and pretty much supposedly matching your skin. So we're going to keep doing this until you don't see it anymore. There we go. See? All right. So this is nice, but uh, I have to say that it really is completely disappearing. So if you have any kind of uh, blotchiness or dark circles or dark spots like I do, it's not going to give you any coverage because that's not what it's meant for. It basically evens out the tone of your skin. All right? It just makes your skin um, appear, because it's makeup, appear to be a little bit more um, toned and even down. So I kind of like that effect, but I'm not crazy about the formula. And I'm going to say that's because of the SPF in it. That's why I don't wear them. I just don't like the way they feel. Other than that, I think it's pretty okay. If you like SPF, you can try this. There's different ones. Again, this is the anti-aging. I think I would have been better if I had picked the medium um, to tan I think rather than the light to medium because this I think for the spring and summer is going to be a little bit too pale on my skin it really does give me in the light medium uh, formula the number 200 it gives me a little bit too much of a porcelain complexion so I'm not crazy about it but otherwise I'm going to keep using it and empty out the um, tube altogether and probably move on to something else you're wondering, what is the point with the swatches and stuff, Sophia? You don't seem to like much of the stuff. Well, it's reviews, okay? All right, next. Next is a new lipstick from Burt's Bee. And this is a very weird uh, tube. I'm not sure if I like the fact that it's square. To be honest, this is number 530 in Lily Lake. I am wearing it right now. I actually like the color and I really like the formula as well. So here is a good swatch. So you can see it. The same type of color that I wear all the time. Isn't it boring? Um, <laughs> it looks a little bit like Fig from um, MAC. Doesn't have much of a scent. And just for contrast purposes, because I just did a, uh, a spring tag video and I talked about the Tarte in Tulip. I'm going to uh, compare them side by side so you can see the difference in color. Okay, thank you. They're almost the same. <laughs> all right, so if you are, it's, it's so stupid. I keep on buying lipsticks and then they end up being all the same. Do you have this problem too? Like, I know I have this problem with eyeshadows because I always tend to go purple. Wait until you see the new one. Uh, but like, this is almost the same lipstick. This is the Tarte in Tulip. This is the... Um, Birds be in Lily Lake. So if you like these kind of colors, they go nice together. Now, a little trick is to put the uh, darker one on top and the lighter one at the bottom, or you can switch and it kind of gives a different effect on your lips, or you can put the darker on the inside of your lip and the um, lighter one on the outside. Anyway, you can play around. Um, I really like the formula of this one. I just don't care for the tube. That This is just cumbersome. It's huge. Um, it's, I don't know. It's kind of bizarre. I, I'm not sure what they were thinking, but it's different and I like the color. So again, Lily Lake right here and then the Tarte Tulip is right there. When I went to a drugstore the other day and I bought the Army thing, they had a buy one, get the other one uh, half off. So I got this. This is the Army Intense Color Eyeshadow uh, Cream and I'm wearing it today. I'm going to give you a close up, but first I want to give you a swatch. This is what it looks like. This is a, um, a cream shadow. All right, so they sell it as the shadow you wear when you have brown eyes and you know that I wear a lot of purple. 
So I'm gonna give you a close-up so you can see what it looks like. And I have it on with a purple crayon eyeliner. And I have to tell you, I actually am impressed with this. It was kind of difficult uh, to apply. I'm gonna put some again so you can see what it looks like. You, you really have to blend it in and work it in. Uh, so if you have an extra, well, I goofed. If you have an extra brush, use that. But otherwise, I gotta tell you, this thing is not bulging. I've had it on all morning. I've been doing videos. I got a turkey in the oven that I prepped and I was wearing makeup when I was doing that. And the eyeshadow has not moved. It's a little dry for a cream, but I tell you what I really like about it. For somebody who's been wearing this for about five hours now, no crease. Do you see a crease? I don't. No crease. Really, really like this. So I know they sell it for um, the brown eyes, but I think I'm gonna try the other colors as well. Now, the problem that I have with these is that they tend to go to waste a lot because it's kind of tough to get to the rest of the tube. You gotta swirl the stuff. Um, and then if you don't close them properly, they dry out. So I don't know, I'm gonna play with it for a while. I really, really like the color. I may go and get another one just as a spare. Oh God. I'm starting spares of makeup now. Now that's not good. I am not going to do that. Uh, but I like the color. This one, again, is the one they sell for the brown eyes. And I really wish they had a name for it, but they don't. It just says liquid shadow and color primer. So you can put other uh, shadows over it if you want to use that just in the crease, for instance. That would be actually something pretty cool. So I have to play with it a little bit more. Otherwise, I really like this. Much better than the foundation. Stuff, the last item, told you it was gonna be short today. Um, mirrors, and the brand is Simple Human. And this is by far, I've had it for a while and I still didn't remove the uh, foam thing. This is by far the best, best magnifying mirror I ever, ever bought. And those can be very expensive. This one is pricey, it's about $100. It's got two little things on it that I really like. Number one, it gets, um, you can see the camera in there, it's rechargeable via USB, okay? So I can put that next to my computer or my laptop and recharge it. I can move it anywhere I want in the house. I don't have to worry about having to find a plug. In my bathroom, it works great because I don't have to take a plug space uh, above the vanity to plug in the mirror. I can have it working on all the time. When it runs out of juice, I just recharge it, basically. Second thing is that you turn it on right here, right? And then you see it's not on. Okay, I'm gonna try to not show too much if we go like this, all right. But you see that? It's um, motion activated. So you get this light right here around it and then you just turn it off like this. Oh, hold on. Same button, okay? And then see, motion activated. Really, really cool. So now the big deal about this is the magnification. This is by far the most magnification I've seen in a mirror. I'm gonna try to find something Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so if I put um, my finger here, I don't know if you can see the magnet. Look at this. It's huge, all right? Let's see if I can show you uh, writing. Look at that. And the back. Hold on. So it's got a little bit of distortion, but the magnification on this is unbelievable. I do not miss hair. I do a occasional extraction, you know, like blackheads and stuff. And let me tell you, like, this is amazing. Like you really cannot miss anything in this mirror. The magnification is huge. So I don't know if it's time tens or I really don't know. It doesn't say I threw away the box. The company is from California. They assemble it in China, of course. This is pretty compact. And the great thing about it is that it closes flat like this and then it comes, it's in its own little pouch, which is a hard case that I don't have with me right now. I don't know what I did with it because I don't plan on traveling. But if you were to take it for traveling, it just goes directly into that little pouch, right? With a zip all around it, which is a hard case. You put that in your suitcase and because you've plugged it in already and you charged it, you won't need a adapter, basically, uh, if you travel to a foreign country or something. 
um, really really cool so you just turn it off with the button here in the back I really like this um, I'm telling you you can't miss a hair with this if you do your eyebrows and you kind of like me you're starting to have to wear your glasses when you do that and it's kind of like you know you gotta go behind the glasses I don't need to wear my glasses when I do my eyebrows anymore I can just use this with huge magnification a little bit of distortion but really really good so this is an investment piece okay not cheap again this is about a hundred dollars it's not that affordable but it's by far the best I've found so if you are looking for a magnifying mirror that is really really good go to Harman Cosmetics this is where I found it where they have all of the mirrors you will find this one I'm telling you compare your face you're gonna be horrified by all of the magnifying mirrors because you start seeing stuff you've never seen before and didn't even know existed but compare your face in all of the mirrors and then try this one last and because that's what I did and you will see how huge of a difference this is going to make super clear image beautiful mirror very slick i love it love love it i wanted to talk about this for a while now i don't know why i haven't but here it is swatches and stuff for march 2016 get yourself a simple human magnifying mirror that's in a travel case if you can okay so that's it, that's swatches and stuff. Uh, yeah, that was pretty short. There wasn't a lot of stuff today and most of the stuff I didn't care for. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't miss another episode of swatches and stuff. And by the way, since I'm here, uh, there was a giveaway last month and Elizabeth M, you have not given me your address. I have not sent you four emails. Can you please send me your address so I can send you the giveaway? Because um, otherwise, what's going to happen is that the next person who wins the giveaway for April 2016, all of the stuff you want, I will add to that giveaway. All right. Come on. Seriously. Now, it's been uh, two and a half weeks. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, send me your address so I can send you the giveaway. Okay. I guess that's it. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.